On Thursday, the IMF cut its global growth forecast for both this year and the next to 3.1 percent and 3.6 percent, respectively. That means 2016 will still post the fastest growth rate since 2011. The Washington-based multilateral lender says major advanced economies would continue to benefit from supportive monetary conditions and lower commodity prices. Emerging market economies would also be expected to emerge from a five-year decline in 2016. But the global economy is at risk of derailing if the current transitions go wrong. Those transitions are triggered by major economic policy changes. The U.S. rate hike is likely to alter global capital flows. China's economic rebalancing will feed into years of growth moderation. But the fund sees progress in China's economic reforms. I mean, broadly, I think we would say uh, good progress has been made in many areas. Um, at the same time, substantial work, uh, you know, remains uh, to be done. I think that. Uh, Financial reforms in particular have advanced well. Um, for example, the new budget law has uh, laid important uh, foundations for strengthening local government finances. And again, we look forward to the, uh, the full implementation of that in the coming years. The IMF says it's vital for the international community to support China's transition. Otherwise, the country's slowdown would have spillover effects across the globe through trade. When it comes to the IMF's own reform agenda, the spokesman says it's up to the board to decide. Here, I think, knows the process is underway. IMF staff are uh, preparing uh, a report, which uh, will include a, a recommendation to our executive board on that issue. And I would underline that uh, the decision rests with our executive board, which, of course, represents 188 uh, countries. So um, to characterize it, I would say the uh, progress is on track, on schedule. Meanwhile, the IMF also noted that the end of a decade-long commodities super cycle will hamper exporters' economic prospects. And international migration has also become an economic headache for countries involved. To break through the bottleneck, the IMF calls for demand-side stimulus, smarter central bank acts, and more physical support over the world. It urges structural reforms among G20 countries just ahead of the leaders' summit in Turkey next week. The meeting is dubbed the most important G20 summit since the April 2009 London meeting during the global financial crisis. Analysts say to prevent a new economic recession, leaders of the 20 most powerful economies need to live up to the expectations and make rules to truly enforce any agreements. That will give global markets and governments more confidence in funding and managing economic transitions. Xiaocheng, CCTV.